my name is Tess and I'm the Conservation Field Supervisor at Sea Turtle Link. Plastic is harmful for sea turtles in several ways, but the main two are entanglement and ingestion. So entanglement is when turtles are swimming around in the ocean, oftentimes they'll get stuck in leftover, we call it ghost gear, when it's just floating in the sea. Um, and that, those can be made of, of plastic or other types of ropes. And then ingestion is when the turtle is directly ingesting the plastic. And the really harmful part about this is that the turtle will think that it's full because the plastic is building up inside of its gut and then it will actually stop feeding. About 25% of our patients actually have a plastic related injury um, and that's about 146 of all patients that we have treated. South Padre Island is a really popular tourist destination and for this reason you might guess that a lot of the plastic that we see on the beaches is kind of related to this. So some of the most common types of plastic that we see are bottles, bottle caps, single-use cups and single-use cutlery. My top tips for reducing your plastic waste, just get creative with it, even if you're just using a reusable straw or a reusable cutlery. Um, and the fact of the matter is that it's actually really helpful. So any amount of times that you're re recycling, reducing your plastic waste at all, any of those things are really helpful to sea turtles. So the idea is basically just the less plastic that's manufactured, the less often it will be that a turtle will actually eat a piece of plastic or get tangled up in it.